Okay, today we're going to do a streak isolation. The idea behind this is we are going to inoculate a plate. We want to streak out or spread out the bacteria from the original inoculum until we have individual colonies, so we have a pure culture. As always, we flame the loop till it's a nice glowing red, let it cool down. The culture we're working with today is Serratia marcescens. Once again, I'm working within, close by the flame, within my sterile area, remaining, keeping my sterile technique. I'm going to take a culture. There's a couple different ways you can do this, so I'm going to show you one way first. Is you take culture, go to your new plate, and you're going to streak, spread it out in one quadrant area. Now you're going to flame the loop again. To sterilize it. The idea behind this way is, <coughs> me, is that we're going to spread it out in four different quadrants, but each quadrant is diluted from the previous one. So we're not going back into the original plate. We're going to go where we previously streaked over here, and now we're going to streak this way. We are spreading the organism out flame our loop again. Now some people, if you've got to keep track of where you have been, they will turn the plate roughly 90 degrees. Now what you're going to do once the loop is cool, we're going to go into the second area that we had streaked in. We're going to spread it out. And then last but not least, go into the fourth quadrant. So some people prefer doing this way where they have the four quadrants. And the idea is by the time you're in the fourth quadrant, you should have individual separate colonies. So this would be our last area. That plate is now inoculated. The other method, which is the one I personally prefer doing, is just the way I learned it, is very similar except we're going to, instead of four quadrants, we're going to use three different areas, but with the same concept. We start with our initial area of going from our original stock plate. Uh, you may be going from a stock to whichever your, your plate is. So you're going to take your culture. Once again, spread, streak very heavily in this area. Flame your loop. Once again, I am not going to go back into that original plate. Instead, what I'm going to do once my loop is cool enough, and if you're ever not sure whether your loop is cool enough or not, you can always just kind of tap on the edge. Now go into the area where I've already streaked, spread this way. Now instead of flaming the loop again, flip that loop over and now streak down into the third area. If you look at the original stock plate, so both of our new plates are ready, look at the original stock plate and you can see that there, how heavy inoculum here and it's spread and thinned out as she had continued on. Now this plate was not done for streak isolation, it was just to subculture, but you can still see how it is streaked. Um, you're essentially diluting or spreading the bacteria out. You want to be able to get to an individual colony. And don't forget to always flame that loop when you are done. And mark your plates. On both of these plates you can see where initially where we started the streak you have very heavy growth in here and then the idea is you are spreading it out, you're diluting it out, if you will. And so as you follow the streak down towards the end, then is where we have individual colonies. A colony looks like a little circle on here, and that represents one bacteria. Now what you're seeing is actually millions, but it arose from one single individual bacteria. So it would be considered a, a pure colony when you have just that, that one tiny little colony and look towards the end and that's where you're going to find them 
um, on both of these. So if you were to go culture from this, you don't want to go from where the heavy growth is because that may still be a mixed culture. Go from an individual colony.